Hey everyone, it's Tommy from The Bad Game, and today I'm playing GTA Vice City, the defective, I mean, the definitive edition, I'm sorry Rockstar. <laughs> Vice City has always been my favourite game, and I've always felt like I can relate to Tommy Vicetti on a personal level. Not because we both share the first name, but because we're both unable to swim. Seriously though, I went through a phase of acting like, dressing up and pretending to be the character in the game that I was currently playing at that time. So every Sunday, I used to go to church. I would wear my bright blue Hawaiian shirt, take my water pistol, and I'd pray to Jesus before shooting all my fellow worshippers in the parking lot. What absolute memories. I made it to the point in the game where you, spoiler alert here, take over Diaz's mansion and transition to Tony Montana. I was now able to buy a business, and I wanted to invest in a sustainable, long-term, profitable, and exciting new company. So I went to the Cherry Popper ice cream factory and paid $20,000 for it. I introduced myself to the manager and she accused me of being a child at one point, which couldn't be the case because everyone knows that kids do not exist in GTA. If they did, we would kill them. Tommy rightly points out that it doesn't make sense she would make ice cream if she hated kids. At this point, we discover the company actually sell non-dairy products, so the ice cream they were selling was actually vegan. I thought this was amazing because it's 1986 and veganism isn't something you'd imagine much back then. I was so excited that I was launching my very first own vegan ice cream brand. And I told V, who's one of our admins, she's vegan, so I thought she'd appreciate that I was making beneficial lifestyle changes even in my video game. I was actually really proud that I was leading the way in combating the dairy industry as well by selling non-dairy ice cream product in an 18 rated game. In order to make my new company a success, I needed to put my work in. So I led by example, hopped in an ice cream truck and I started my first shift. Not long after I was able to find my first customers and my vegan ice cream started off well. That was until a cop was walking down and he decided he wasn't going to stand for my vegan product and instead opened my car door to arrest me. He said that I shouldn't call my product something that it isn't. He said it made him angry that vegan companies were branding their products in things that they weren't. Like for example beef burgers that aren't beef or chicken curry that didn't have chicken. I said I totally agreed with his comments and was also disappointed when I found out there was no Scottish people in my scotch eggs. I didn't let this loss get me down and instead I decided to get back into the truck and take to the streets again. I was determined to push my product and encourage more people to make positive lifestyle changes. I was selling to one of my customers when suddenly an angry meat eater decided to turn violent and run him over. I decided I wasn't going to take this shit and decided to shoot his tyres out. When I was shouting abuse at him, a gang nearby decided to involve themselves and open fire at me. It really highlighted to me the toxicity within the meat industry, even in 1986. To think someone would run someone else over just because they choose not to kill and eat animals absolutely disgusts me. And this attack wasn't the first time neither. In fact, throughout my entire shift, snowflake meat eaters kept getting offended by me and instead of keeping their opinion to themselves like they should, they just kept get committing vehicular manslaughter as well as hit and run. Then some biker, who definitely ate me because look at him, only a meat eater would be that unhealthy, decided to ram me with his bike, knocking me off route. I wasn't having any of it, so I immediately raced him to the other side and discovered that he crashed his bike. <laughs> Well, I was finally seeing karma fight back the meat industry. I could have left it there, but I'd been pushed to my limits. I rammed his bike to assert my dominance before running him over. Take that, you carnivore. Everyone around me started screaming, and more meat eaters guns turned up. I also spotted one of my customers, who was still on a sugar rush. Towards the end of my shift, I noticed there'd been a tragic car accident. As I approached to offer my help, a police car showed up, ignoring the dead body, and instead pursuing me for my vegan ice cream. I couldn't believe this was the level we were at. Officers were actually overlooking a potential murder scene just to stop me from trying to offer a more environmental friendly option. Despite the resistance, the harassment, the abuse, countless assaults and unnecessary murder of my customers, I managed to overcome the odds and successfully sell 50 of my non-dairy vegan friendly ice creams. This was a milestone achievement in my first business investment and I hope it serves as an inspiration to all of those who want to try something new, to those who want to disrupt 
the status quo. I hope this video remains as a reminder for despite what the big corporations might have to say, you can be a success even in Vice City. I hope you enjoyed the first video of my Vice City series. I'll be making more videos like this for you. Please like, comment and subscribe. You can also find more about our community in the description below. Until then, take care and I'll speak to you next time.